Shiva, you are the man lion, you are Vishnu, you are Balaram, and you are Krishna. You are the supreme being, the transcendent Lord, Master. You are pure, living on air. By the grace of Guru Gobind Singh, we are given the Shabad Guru as our City Guru Granth Sahib as our Guru that we bow to. And through the Shabbat Guru, we, this is how we connect with God. So we'll chant Narayan, the name of God. And if ever you have felt a separation from God, let us together chant and feel God in our hearts and feel no separation here in the house of the Guru.
if anyone ever told you that you were separate from God, chant this mantra. Together we'll correct that mistake. Because the very breath of God is on your breath and is with your voice. Sare bolo. Thank you. 
Govinda Das Duvalan, I am a sacrifice, Guru Govind Singh says, to you.
robe in the dust of the world, and I am the servant of you.
Take your troubles. Take your joys. Take your love to the beloved awaiting you in your heart, to the beloved divine God. Go with the Das Dua and like Guru Govind Singh, be the servant of the door of God. Be the servant of God. You are worthy of that role. You can do it. I feel that 
whoever has the opportunity to come to this Gurdwara is coming because their soul has called them here. That this is such a divine and special place. And I feel so blessed that the Guru called my soul here and this, my family to come and be here with this family and to feel the blessings of the Guru here in this place. So tonight we're really calling upon the energy of Guru Gobind Singh to be with us. And I wanted to share just a little story about Anansa, which we'll do Anansa by the, the third Guru of the Sikhs, which is the song of bliss. And a Sikh of the Guru is never denied access to the Guru's court as it was in the day of the Guru and as it is to this day. And uh, um, a man came to the court of Guru Gobind Singh and he was just attracted by the energy he saw by the Sikhs and by uh, just he hadn't ever seen the Guru before. He came into Guru Gobind Singh's Darbar, it was just a tent in the forest and he sat in the back and he was just listening to Guru Gobind Singh speak and he was so filled with love, this is the first time and he came up to the Guru and said, Beloved Guru, I am yours, please teach me everything to end. Guru Gobind Singh said, well, the first thing is that I'll have you learn is to learn Guru Mukhi. And he called one of his beloved Sikhs, the language of the Sikhs, and he called one of his beloved Sikhs and he said, take this son of mine to learn Guru Mukhi and start with him on side. And so that day he went and began his studies. And the next day, the Guru held the court again, and this man who had come for the very first time was sitting in the back again. And he was in complete and utter meditation in Samadhi, in just total union with God. And Guru called him up and said, so tell me what you learned. And he said, well, we started off with Anansag. We didn't get past the first line. Ananda Baya Medi Mai Satguru Me Paya. Oh, oh my beloved, I the bliss has come upon me. Oh my mother, the bliss has come upon me. For the true guru has found me, I have found my true guru. And he said, That's it. The lesson I couldn't even continue with the lesson because I was in such a state of bliss. And uh, Guru Gobind Singh loved it. And so we chant Anansai in every Gurdwara. And all of these bonnings that we do give us the strength of the Guru right in the very bani. So a lot of times we chant a Nansai and we forget maybe the meaning or we forget the power, but today I know that the words are up there for you. And so I'll ask you to really chant and really see which lines catch your heart, which things really speak to you, because that is the way that the Guru speaks to us, is through our own hearts and through our own attraction and energy. So it's together chant a Nansai.
ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਤੂੰ ਠਾਕੁਰ ਤੂੰ ਦਇਆਰਦਾਸ ਜੀਓ ਜੀ ਸਾਧੂ ਤੇਰੀ ਆਸ ਤੂੰ